Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. In the previous videos, we have implemented creation and retrieval endpoints. In this video, let us create update endpoint for role privileges. Let's go to Visual Studio. We have already well versed with all these endpoints creation from earlier videos. So we don't need to write it again. Let's copy and paste it. So this is the updation endpoint. Let's modify the role, role to role privilege. Role privilege DTO, update, update role privilege, role privilege repository, existing role privilege role privilege not found error message also updated so it's a role privilege new role privilege new role privilege role privilege yeah done so modification is done so because we have written so many times that's why i'm going very fast to complete this web api series so i hope you are following so anyways, Git repository is there. You can go to GitHub and uh, check all these changes. Okay, updation endpoint completed. Let us test this updation, rerun it. Let's go to role privilege, update. So to update, we need to get all role privileges first. And this is the existing role privilege copy that and go to update write out and paste that copied role privilege modify role id 1 to 2 now i want to map that to role id 2 and uh, change the description view students list view students list okay those are the two changes i want to do execute it and 200 and we got the response here and you can see role id is 2 and description is view students list now let's go to role privilege all execute it again and what we are getting here role id 2 updated to role id 2 just now and you can see there is a list let's also check in the database so you can see list is added role id modified from 1 to 2 okay update also working let's do the delete operation in the next video For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.